Hey Atlas Explorers, welcome to the very first video in our Under the Sea Read Aloud series. The book we're reading today is called Ocean Seasons, and it's all about how the ocean, the habitats, and the animals change depending on the season of the year. All right, let's jump into it. Spring is a burst of color on land and in the sea as plants spread their soft new growth. Urchins munch on kelp in shallow Pacific waters, but hungry sea otters eat their share of urchins, helping the plants grow into an undersea forest of many colors. Many fish, crabs, and shrimp hide and feast in the kelp forest. Diving birds and swimming seals dine on the young fish that live in the dense tangles of kelp. The humpback whales dive and circle under schools of fish. Looking up, they blow bubbles that form a net to trap their helpless prey. Summer is a calm, blue sea. Seals sleep in the warm sun. Baby puffins hatch in burrows on a rocky island. Fish grow bigger and stronger through the summer, but they are still food for many birds. Bigger fish, and the humpback whales. Mouths open wide, the whales lunge into the surface, straining the water to trap the fish using the comb-like baleen that lines their huge mouths. The whales put on layers of fat as they feast. Fish dine on the plankton that bloom in great numbers and in many kinds. Lights shine from within some of the plankton. As the whales swim through the swarms, the night sea glows like streams of headlights on a freeway. Autumn winds blow strongly across the sea. The summer lights soon grow dark as the tiny plankton die and fall to the ocean floor. Fall is a time of change on the ocean. Salmon feed in the kelp forest as they return to rivers from distant ocean waters. Seals, sea lions, and humans hunt the salmon. Some orca whales hunt the salmon too. Other orcas hunt seals, sea lions, and even humpback whales. As winter seas grow colder and colder, northern waters become quiet and clear. Atlantic and Pacific humpback whales turn south as icy winds blow. Winter whales leap and sing in the southern waters, just like baby chicks hatch on land in the spring. Baby whales are born in this warm ocean during the tropical winter. When winter turns to spring, the whales return to their northern waters as sea plants begin to spread their sparkling growth once again. All right, Atlas Explorers, that's the end of our book. Now let's get right into our three facts of the day. Blue whales are so big that just their tongue weighs more than an elephant does. The ocean helps keep us warm. The flow of ocean water around the planet is what allows the planet to not be cold all the time. Coral reefs are described as the rainforest of the ocean. And this is because so many different kinds of animals live there compared to other parts of the ocean. Just think about Nemo and all his friends. Atlas Explorers, don't forget to share the knowledge. Let someone know one of the cool things you learned in this book today. All right, that's the end of our story today. We'll see you next time. Bye.